the philosophy student's conundrum. You're a student, and you have an important philosophy exam today. Big stress, especially since you, like most of your peers, didn't attend many classes or learn anything this semester. When you come to the exam, the teacher puts a chair in the center of the classroom and says, none of you learn my subject, so everyone will have the same chance to pass it. See this chair? Write evidence that it doesn't exist. The person who convinces me of this will pass. What should you write to ace the exam? The correct answer is, what chair? The shortest answer is usually the best. How to fix the car You're driving down a long, wintry road. A few hours ago, a mechanic changed your car's tires, but they didn't put the bolts back in tightly on one of the wheels. As you're driving, sure enough, that wheel pops right off. Fortunately, you have a spare in the trunk, but here's the problem. Those four bolts that were loose are now lost in the snow. There's nowhere to wait for help. You're far from the nearest city, and a blizzard is coming in. What's your next move? Unscrew one bolt from each of the other three wheels and use them to attach your spare tire. Each wheel will have three bolts. This is enough to get to the nearest car service safely. Lost in the desert You're traveling in a hot air balloon when gale force winds take you far from your destination. The storm subsides, and you land in the middle of a desert. You have just one small bottle of water. The good news? You know which way to go. The bad news? According to your estimates, the journey will take at least three days. How will you survive? The answer? You should move only at night. Using fabric from the balloon, create a nice shaded tent for yourself and sleep in it during the day. At night, the temperature in the desert will become much lower, which means your body will lose less fluid. The antidote Well, you're back in the jungle, but your usual fun adventures have turned into your worst nightmare. You were bitten by a venomous snake. You make it to the nearest village, where the local doctor examines your wound and gives you two tablets with an antidote and two others with a catalyst that activates the antidote inside your body. To be saved, you need to take the antidote first and then the catalyst. Then, take the same sequence in the evening. You put all the tablets in your pocket, but uh-oh, they all look the same and you got them mixed up. You can't take all four together, but if you take two catalysts or two antidotes at the same time, they'll just make you even sicker. What do you do? Grind the tablets up, mix all the powder together, and divide it in two parts. Each half will have the same amount of catalyst and antidote. Family fortune Your father is a wealthy aristocrat and wants to leave you a huge inheritance. Jackpot! But he wants to be sure that you can manage his money intelligently. To check, he asks you to solve a riddle. How do you feed a whole family if you only have $3 in your pocket? Buy a cheap fishing pole and catch fish. A respectable dismissal. You work for a large company, you're the best employee, but the boss suspects that you're secretly working for a competitor, and he wants to get rid of you. Since you've been such an outstanding worker, he lets you pick how you'll be dismissed. So nice. What can you choose if you want to keep your job, but still satisfy the boss's conditions? Say that you'd like to be dismissed because of old age. Fire Rescue You're on a small, uninhabited island. The sun is scorching, and the grass on the island is extremely dry. Well, soon enough, a huge fire starts raging on the opposite side. The flames are headed right toward you, since the wind is blowing in your direction. You can't seek refuge in the sea because it's swarming with sharks. Boy, it's not your day. 
How can you get away from the fire? You need to move away from the shore and toward the fire, but don't go too far. Then set the grass on fire. The wind will spread these new flames toward the sea. You'll be safe in this patch between the fires until yours reaches the water and goes out. Head back to the shore. The first fire won't reach you because there won't be any grass to burn. Almost free. Well, you're a pirate again. You get caught trying to steal a treasure chest, but not on a desert island. This time, it's in your own country. You're summoned to court, and the king announces the sentence. Life behind bars. Fortunately, he gives you a chance at freedom, if you can solve a riddle. The king will cut your sentence in half if you figure out how to do it right. What do you decide? The correct answer? Spend one day locked up, the next day free. You're not totally off the hook, but you did cut your sentence in half. What to take out of a burning house? You get home from work, cook some soup on the stove, eat and go to bed exhausted. At night, the smell of burning wakes you up. You open your eyes and realize that your apartment is on fire! All exits are blocked, but fortunately, firefighters have already arrived. You need to jump out the window. You live on the third floor, and the firefighters have deployed an inflatable cushion below. But you must decide what to take with you before you jump. A laptop with all your work projects, or a safe with all your money. Time's running out, and you can only choose one. The answer is the laptop in this hypothetical situation. Safes can withstand high temperatures even in fires, so your money will be okay. But you can't return the data from a burnt laptop. Even better, save your work in the cloud and leave all your material possessions in an emergency. Words of freedom Now, you're a formidable pirate who's sailed the ocean for years in search of treasure. You come to an island and go to the jungle. You find an ancient cave where a chest with gold coins lies. But just as you're about to open it, the locals grab you and lead you to their king. You'll be tried for your attempt at robbing their island. You face 30 years locked up, but the king decides to give you a chance to free yourself. He asks you to name three body parts that begin and end with the same letter. 10 years will be taken from your term for each correct answer. You say the first word without thinking. I. You're down to 20 years. Throat. Now 10. What's the final word that will set you free? I. <laughs> the second one. Where should I go to work? You're a builder looking for a new job. You live in a town where two construction companies compete with each other. Both follow the same rule – they can't work on their own properties. You go to the first one for an interview, and you're horrified by the conditions in their headquarters. The bricks on the building are barely hanging on, the electricity flickers in and out, and it just looks like a mess. You have your interview and then head to the other company's office. You're blown away by how beautiful and stylish this building is. Everything looks brand new and in working order. The choice seems obvious. Who will you work for? Choose the first company with terrible renovations. Because both companies can't use their own services, that beautiful building was the handiwork of the first company. And the second built that terrible office for the first one. <laughs> 